Hi boys and girls, it's time for our lesson again this week. We're on the Ten Commandments and we're on number five. We're going to be halfway through the Ten Commandments uh, when we get to this one. And this one's a very special one. It talks about honoring our parents, but this one has a promise with it. It says that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God gives you. Uh, We'll talk a little bit about what it means to live a long and healthy life because that's what it, the promise is if we honor our parents. Now, we're going to talk about this word honor. Um, we hear it a lot of times. I've got here a hammer, and if you were in a courtroom, the, the bailiff would stand up and say, Order in the court, order in the court, and then he would say, The Honorable Judge, and we give him a name. We'll say Judge Bill. Uh, presiding and everybody has to stand and honor they honor the judge and he's called your honor so that if somebody uh, uh, is is uh, on trial uh, their lawyer will speak to the judge and he'll say your honor I ask for and he may ask for a bunch of different things you may ask for a witness to be called or he may ask for a postponement but he'll always say your honor because that's the title that you use with a judge. So uh, it's a very important title. Now, in the Bible where it says that it's two places, Exodus chapter 20 and Deuteronomy chapter 5, they're both in the first five books of the Bible. That's where we find the Ten Commandments and then Jesus talks about them in the New Testament. But in the Old Testament, we have the Ten Commandments given in those two chapters, Exodus 20, Deuteronomy 5. And the word honor is you gotta remember the Old Testament's in a different language. You and I, we speak English. I, I have trouble speaking English, but I've studied some other languages. I, I studied French when I was in high school, but I can't remember much of French, um, except that I, I learned ferme la bouche, which is French for shut up. Uh, and that's about all I remember. Bonjour, which is good day, and au revoir, which is goodbye. Uh, but I don't remember much of, of the French. But I also studied Latin, uh, in, in school and, and I learned some phrases that I still remember and I still use it. When I got to college I studied Greek which is the language of the New Testament and that's Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and all those letters of Paul, Romans, Corinthians which have all strange sounding names to them. Uh, they were written in Greek but you get into the Old Testament and that's written in Hebrew and I studied Hebrew in uh, seminary uh, it was a hard language because it had a whole different help from it. The letters don't look anything like ours. Uh, so it was, it was a difficult language and it was read in the opposite direction that we read ours. We read from this side to that side. Hebrew you read from that side to that side. So it, it was tough. I remember a little bit, but this word kabod, kabod is the word for honor. And it has a positive and it has a negative meaning. Now, if we, it, it means to heap or to pile up. Well, what's that have to do with honor, you might say? What are we piling up? Well, all right, if we were taking it in a negative way, and I brought my scales here, I could say these rocks represent a negative thing. It represents saying a bad thing about a person. Uh, it might represent uh, disobeying when our parents ask us to do something and we say, I'm not going to do that, which is also talking back to people, uh, and that's not a good thing, or complaining all the time. I'll put this one down here because we're going to heap up here a lot. Uh, can you think of some other things that would be hurtful or make our parents feel sorry or bad? Yeah, um, maybe that we don't do what they ask us to do. Uh, or we, we blame somebody else when something goes wrong and, uh, and we don't want to take responsibility. And there it goes. I wonder whose fault it is that these rocks are falling all over the place. It certainly can't be my fault. Oh, but it is. And, 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 uh, see what heaping up gets us? That gets us a bad situation in that negative way. All those bad things that we could do that make our parents feel like they failed, or feel unhappy, or feel discouraged, all that. Those are the negative things. Now, we can do positive things. We can heap up, and I've got here, oh man, look at this, money. I can keep that 
down to there. And, and I can keep on going. It's like saying, oh, mom and dad, you are great. You are wonderful. Thank you for doing all the things that you do for us. And we just keep keeping it. And, and when they ask us to do something, we do it. Because they ask us to. That's, that's not just their power and their position, but it's seeking to please them and to to do something to make it. And we can keep laying it on. Now, some of it just falls off, but we can pick it up and put it back on. And which would you rather get? The rocks or the money? Yeah, yeah. And heaped up and heaped up and heaped up. Just like it was your birthday every day. You know, and you got, you got cards and money in those cards. Uh, and that would, be, that would be great. Well, that's what that word means. Kavod means to heap up. We can heap up bad things. And we can heap up good things. So that scale reminds us that we can do that and, and that we're saying to our parents, you're worth a lot to me. You're, you're valuable. Uh, and now you think about that because think of all the things they do. You got clothes. You got a house to be uh, warm in and out of the weather. Uh, you've got um, uh, food to eat. Uh, if you have a friend that you want to see, they can take you there uh, to see your friend. Uh, you get to go to school. Um, they have a place to sleep. And you know you're safe. And here's the other thing. Not everybody has parents that do those things. Some children do suffer. Um, it's very hard for them to honor their parents because their parents aren't good to them. And, uh, and so they end up in, in difficult situations. And I think of some kids that I know um, that have it very difficult, but I also know that many of you, maybe all of you that are watching this, you have good loving parents. You have parents that care for you, but they have feelings. And we want to honor them. We want to heap our praise on them and tell them how much they are really, really worth. Now, there's two parts to this. One is that we honor the person. We say to that person, like, um, you call your mother mom or mommy or something like that. That person is special. Now, you may have a brother or sister that calls that person mommy as well, but there's a particular person that you're thinking of. So you honor that person, but there's a second part of it. You honor their position. God gave them the responsibility to be your parents, and that's a big responsibility. So we honor them that way as well. Now, let me tell you how this goes back to uh, another thing. The judge is elected, sometimes appointed, but elected to that position. In other words, he isn't born a judge. He's born like you and I, but sometimes he studies to become a judge. He studies the law. He studies uh, other types of judgments that have been made so that he knows what to say and to do as the judge. And then he's elected to that position. Um, you might think of it also like a policeman. A policeman is like you and I, but when he puts on that uniform, he has a position and we respect the position. I, I've had some policemen stop me from time to time, uh, not because I was a bad person, no, no, it wasn't that, but sometimes they were checking on something. Um, one time, the last time they stopped me, they couldn't read my license plate because it was on my truck and got all banged up and he said, I can't read that plate. Now, I thought I could, but he said, I'm going to give you 10 days to get a new plate or you'll get a ticket. Now, I didn't think I should get a ticket, but he had the uniform on and so I had to respect his position as well as his person. And, and so that's, that's a part of the thing. We also do that with, with other people uh, that are elected and given a special task. Uh, we speak of them having that honor. Now, in the Bible, there's a man named Joseph. And Joseph was just a common shepherd boy, sold as a slave. Remember, we talked about that in, in, in the adult Sunday school class. You might have heard your parents talking about that. But he was sold as a slave by his brothers and went down to Egypt. And down there, he rose to become the second in command behind the king of Egypt because he, he was able to, to help them in very hard times to get through those hard times. And they made him the vice regent. That means the, the king, the second king, like vice president in our country as, as next to the president. 
Some of the things they did was they gave him a ring, a special ring to wear. They gave him a title, uh, the, and they gave him a necklace. And I have a necklace here that uh, was given to me. Uh, this is the Order of St. George. It's a part of Boy Scouts of America, and it was a medal that was given to me for my work in, in Boy Scouts years ago. So I can wear this around my neck. Uh, it's not because I'm better. Uh, it's just an honor that was given to me uh, years ago, and I've, I've saved that over the years, and uh, it's a very special honor to wear that. That's what we're talking about when we talk about honoring our parents, that we're declaring them to be special. It doesn't mean they're perfect, any more than I'm perfect uh, to get this, but it means that they are special, and we respect them as a person, and we respect them in their position, and, and that's an important thing. Now, that brings me to this, because you can say to your mom and dad, or to anybody else like that, your grandparents too. You are special, and I love you very much. Uh, all you have to do is find a little card like this, and you write on it. You could have birds around it or whatever like that. But I just wrote a word, thanks, Mom. Now, you could punch a hole in it, put a string on it, and it could be just like this necklace that you give them honor for that. Or you might write on, on a, just a plain piece of paper with no decorations on it, you're great, Dad. Well, if that seems like a lot to write, just write best dad. And again, you can put a string around it, piece of yarn, and give it to him. Or you can do it sneaky and make it and then put it on the refrigerator with a magnet, not even tell them you put it there. And they'll come down and they'll see it on the refrigerator and their hearts will feel so good. They'll probably come over and give you a hug. And says, now, if you don't want hugs, you better not do it. But, but they can give you a hug. And they'll say, I love you. You are special too. And they're honoring you. So we want to take some time to do that. And again, that's come back to the promise. Where when we honor our father and mother, God says, I'm going to have you healthy. And you know, being loved does make us healthier. Being hated and being afraid, that makes us weaker. And, and God says, you love those people I give you, and you're going to be healthier. You're going to live better and longer. So I want all of you to be healthy and happy. Honor your mom and dad, uh, your mother and your father, that your days may be long. Okay? Hey, it's been good talking to you. We're going to sing our song about the Ten Commandments, have our prayer, and I'll see you next week. Okay? Here's our song again. Uh, you shall have no gods but me. And don't forget the rap song. And you can go on the children's ministry page and Diana will be telling you some things to do there. She's not feeling well today. So she's going to put it on the page and you can catch up with your crafts there. Okay? You shall have no gods but me for no idol bow the knee and take not the name of God the Lord in vain. Oh, the Sabbath don't profane and to your parents honor given then your God will give you many years to live. I command no murder do and abstain from deeds untrue. Oh, don't take the things that are not all your own. Then be sure to tell no lies and for your neighbors things don't sigh. These are the laws God gave to Moses up on high. One more time, here we go. You shall have no gods but me, for no idol bow to thee. And take not the name of God the Lord in vain. Oh, the Sabbath don't profane it to your parents' honor give. Then your God will give you many years to live. Now I command no murder do, and abstain from deeds untrue. Oh, don't take the things that are not all your own. Then be sure to tell no lies, and for your neighbors things don't tie. These are the laws God gave to Moses upon high. All right, let's have a prayer. Father, thank you for this day that you've given to us. Thank you for the things that you have to teach us. Thank you for giving us parents and homes and family. Help us to, to love our parents, to honor them as you ask us to do, as you command us to do. And we'll find the honor comes back to us as well. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, bye-bye, boys and girls.